Hey y'all, um, just really going to talk about uh, a different way of installing uh, programs in Ubuntu uh, it's through uh, PPA, um, Personal Package Archive. And uh, what I use that for is if it's something's not in the software center or through Synaptic or through the command line or just searching, you know, through the... Uh, applications like I know GIMP is there for example but there's other ones like Grub Customizer or Handbrake for video um, processing um, those are not in anywhere so you have to download them, download them manually so we'll open the uh, web browser and say uh, Handbrake break and then you just type in PPA, zoom in there, so Personal Package Archive, press enter, and it's the first, usually the first one that comes up. It's uh, usually on launchpad.net. So you hit that link. And in this example, we're going to go down, scroll down, and I usually look for the last, the latest release and if it's not for say 1304 this is for 12.10 I'll try to use that one so I'll just go to hit package details and filter any series Quantel is the last one so far there might be a new one uh, once 1304 is released so we scroll down and now we just have where it says source there's an arrow click that you can see it has builds of AMD64 and 32-bit. And there's two packages available. Uh, Handbrake CLI, that's command line. Handbrake GTK, GNOME Toolkit, that's the graphical interface. So if you want um, the command line version, you can get the AMD, if you're using 64-bit, Intel as well, by the way, and 32-bit. Uh, or 32-bit. So I'm, I use the 64-bit uh, GTK version. So that's the one I, I get. So I download that. So we'll just download it and hit OK. Go to our downloads folder and oops, I already have it downloaded. So Anyway, you would double click on that and then Software Center would open. Yeah. Sorry, my mistake on the download there. So I'll close this. And another one I like to use, as I mentioned, is uh, Grub Customizer. Same idea. Grub Custom. Customizer PPA or button to PPA, whatever. Uh, again, it's the first result here. And this one gives you uh, how do you, you can add this uh, repository to your Ubuntu installation. And he has a whole bunch. Uh, so again, package details. And we'll filter any series and there's the latest release upcoming release right there filter scroll down again hit the arrow and uh, 64 32 bit available and you'd want the this one here or this one here uh, yeah so you could download that And here it is here. So, I again, I already have that installed. So I'll just double click and see. It'll. I'll show you what happens. It opens Ubuntu Software Center, and it says it's installed. So you can reinstall if you wish, if you had it installed. But if it's not installed, you want to use Grub Customizer. You click install, type in your password, and it should run. And Grub Customizer is pretty much, it sounds like you can customize what Grub looks like and 
what runs. So I've opted to delete uh, the Windows loader because this it, it, uh, the grub is not on uh, the hard drive that I'm using it. Uh, the reason it does that because it has a script called OS Prober, so it'll look for all your partitions. But I don't need that. But you can always restore these mem tests and the other mem tests. So I press cancel there. General settings, time of five seconds appearance. I like to change it to smaller a screen size. I've already saved all this. So that's an example of uh, how you can get a couple, couple of programs that are not in the software center or, or in uh, command line or in uh, synaptic package manager if you use that. Now it's not going to work for all uh, Linux based programs because sometimes there's too many dependencies and uh, they're not even remotely uh, officially supported. But there's a chance that you're going to find something. So if you, if you think of something that you want and you know that Ubuntu supports it, you can try searching the personal package archive. Okay. So that's it for this one. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.